Face Stealer is back again, infecting people on Android devices. Now, not that Face Stealer. I'm talking about the Face Stealer Trojan that has been embedded in hundreds of fake apps over the months. It's existed for over 10 months now on the Google Play Store, and it has been installed more than 5 million times on so many different people's phones. The app gets its name from the fact that one of its primary purposes is to steal Facebook login credentials. So the way that this malware works is first, the distributors of the malware, they have to create some kind of an app. I mean, they don't really have to create an app, they just have to create something that looks like an app. Or maybe in some cases, if there's an open source app, they can just take the code from that and then embed the malware within it and then try to masquerade as this legitimate app. But as you'll see in a moment, the kind of apps that are getting trojanized with this are the kind that people could very easily get tricked into installing because there's like hundreds of different versions of these types of apps. Now, in case you didn't know, the moderation or monitoring of the Google Play Store by, I guess, Google is pretty terrible. Google is like that single mom who just lets her kids do whatever they want and act a fool while she goes out to the club all night. That is the constant state of the Google Play Store, and it's not going to change anytime soon. Anyway, once you install the app and you open it, it will give you a prompt like this that tells you to sign into Facebook. But this is fake. It doesn't send your login credentials to Facebook, it sends it to the hackers whose command and control servers tend to be located in Russia. Not sure if the hackers are Russian themselves, but really doesn't matter. Anybody having your Facebook creds is pretty bad, and to be honest, even having a Facebook in current year is kind of cringe, unless maybe you run a business. Now, there's a few different kinds of apps that this face stealer malware will disguise itself as, mostly photo editing apps, cameras, and VPNs, or as I like to call them, useless apps that you probably shouldn't even have installed on your phone in the first place. And I think that this is done on purpose because the kind of person who's installing these apps, whether they are malicious or not, probably is not putting a whole lot of thought into installing any app. They probably just see one of these and they're like, oh, look, a cool little app. I'm gonna go install you and you and you. The problem with doing this is that it leads to application sprawl. You end up having so many apps on your phone and not even really knowing what apps are on your phone, which can waste your storage space, can waste your battery life, especially if these apps like to run in the background, and it's reinforcing this bad behavior. Even if all of your apps are legitimate, who's to say? that one of them ends up having a vulnerability in the app that opens up your phone to more hacking. You don't want to have these, phone, these apps on your phone unnecessarily. The more you do something, the more it becomes normal to just have hundreds of apps on your phone, half of which you probably haven't even opened in the past month. And this is further confirmed by the fact that as many as 14,000 potentially harmful apps are said to have been transferred to over 35,000 new Samsung devices by using the Samsung Smart Switch mobile app. So <laughs> this is a small sample of the Android phone space, although Samsung is still one of the most popular phone manufacturers, but this is proving that even after these apps get removed from the Google Play Store, because Typically, what, what I found from researching into this is that typically these face stealer, various face stealer Trojans, because it's a polymorphic malware, so it gets reinvented every time it's caught, they usually get caught and removed from the Google Play Store after about a month. But when you're transferring them from phone to phone directly, it's been found that the harmful apps can last on the person's new phone for over 90 days before they eventually get removed, either by the end user, you know, maybe they go through their apps one day, probably after they run out of storage, and they're like, oh, okay, well, 
I haven't opened up this app in three months. I haven't opened up this app in four months. So I'm going to go ahead and remove this or remove this. Or maybe if people have an antivirus on their phone, I mean, I don't know anyone in real life who actually does, and it's, it's kind of pointless to have antivirus on your phone. I mean, antivirus in general is, is kind of pointless, but that's a whole other discussion for another time. Um, but if you have antivirus on your phone, then it might actually flag these apps, especially if they've already been removed from Google Play Store and it's a well-known malicious app, because then it's going to be in that antivirus database. And it's like, oh, you've got this weird photography app that's malware. Like, why is it on your phone? Here, I'm just gonna go ahead and remove it for you. But anyway, since installing an antivirus app to your phone is, is kind of lame, how can you actually protect yourself from having your face stolen by a malicious Android app? Honestly, you just gotta have some awareness, okay? We, we can't expect Google to protect us. Like I said earlier, there is basically no moderation that goes on within the Google Play Store. Honestly, the way that you should look at the Google Play Store if you're using an Android phone is like some low down, dirty convenience store, okay? I'm not saying that all bodegas are bad, but you know the ones I'm talking about where the same candy has been sitting on the shelves for five years, the drinks in the cooler are old enough to have driver's licenses, the bathroom hasn't been cleaned in years. You know, it's the kind of place that just exists for laundering drug money. And it's also the kind of place that when you go into it, you're very aware of what you're touching because everything seems dirty. If you've ever found yourself in these places, you probably checked your snacks to make sure that they weren't expired or that they didn't have bite marks from mice that are in that place. Uh, when you went to go and check out, you probably checked the credit card machine for skimmers or better yet, you used cash because it makes the money laundering so much easier for the owner. So treat the Google Play Store the same way. You should read reviews of apps before installing and try to avoid installing so many apps in the first place. And then once you do that, once you stop just installing a bunch of random apps on your phone to, I guess, kill time or get a little dopamine hit, you might start to realize that, hey, I actually don't even need the Google Play Store for 99% of my apps because all of the essential apps that you might legitimately need like pedometers or alarms, calendars, things like that, they all exist on F-Droid. And F-Droid is like Quick Trip, right? It's, it's the top of the food chain as far as the convenience stores go. It's not like the shady money laundering place. You don't have to worry about your snacks or your soda being expired. You don't have to worry about the bathroom being dirty because it's not a shithole like the Google Play Store is. Now, maybe you aren't going to find hundreds of Cartoonify apps like you would in the Google Play Store because these are the kind of apps that malware likes to masquerade as. Uh, maybe you're not going to find 19 different camera apps, but I can't even understand why you would need that in the first place. I'm literally a content creator and the only photo slash video apps that I use is open camera and occasionally the stock one that came with the phone. And I can't even begin to understand these Cartoonify apps. I'm honestly kind of surprised that they these apps are turning people into like a westernized style of cartoon because, you know, I thought all the kids these days wanted to be little anime girls, but oh well, that just shows you how, how little I understand about society. But anyway, don't install stupid apps and stupid things won't happen to your phone. Like and comment, attack the algorithm. Follow me on Odyssey and have a great day.